Hi, I'm Elizabeth Noonan from UCC. Um, I'm Director of Quality and I'm presenting some initial ideas on learning analytics from the perspective of UCC, representing input from two other colleagues, Dr Orla Murphy and uh, Tim O'Donovan. So just to say um, a little bit uh, about us, um, my remit is as Head of Quality or Director of Quality um, and I suppose uh, to declare my interest, I have a passionate interest um, in an enhancement-led view of quality, so assurance serving um, a purposeful end. Um, Orla Murphy is Chair of our e-learning committee, she's coordinator of the MA in Digital Arts and Humanities, she's a digital innovator, um, she's also a National Teaching Award winner. And Tim has been working across our various systems, our VLE, our SIS, um, has been exploring some of the data related to student engagement. So actually, in terms of the theme of today, bringing people together, just the very existence of this um, opportunity brought three of us together to express our interest in learning analytics. Um, some of the opportunities and challenges, um, I suppose, that we have a shared view on, um, we certainly see the potential of learning analytics as being intrinsic to augmenting and sustaining the quality of teaching and learning and importantly the quality of the student learning experience. Um, there's an opportunity to look carefully at the data which is already gathered and to consider and um, evaluate how it might be presented most meaningfully. Um, and I suppose again where we converge is, is the whole idea around supporting engagement and enabling staff to make sense of what's actually happening and perhaps being uh, more responsive at a local level but also um, at a strategic level within the institution. Um, some of the challenges that we see developing a common language, particularly even around simple terms that are currently used so frequently, quality of the student learning experience, what does it mean, unpacking engagement, unpacking the uh, sense of learning analytics and what it might do for us. We would share concerns around issues of privacy, data ethics and concerns about governance arrangements. And just one idea I'd love to offer you um, in relation to ethics. We currently collect a lot of information, student feedback questionnaires that sit there sometimes languishing and actually that's an ethical concern and we're probably not talking about it. So I think there's potential to consider how we use student data ethically and that's very, very important um, in terms of this process. Uh, others have referenced the multiplicity of data custodians and locations and integration between systems and we certainly see building trust um, across and within the community and um, within our institution as being absolutely key to taking forward um, our first steps in relation to um, analytics. Um, the very next steps that we're going to take, quite simple ones actually, but this, as I said, has given us an opportunity to identify um, a number of people coming from different angles with a shared interest in this topic. So what we really want to do is uh, draw together the key concepts, identify um, and bring people in within our institution. We're just going to craft a discussion paper using many of the concepts, questions and uh, points of discussion that emerged today to raise uh, the potential um, around learning analytics and also to feed into UCC's digital enhancement initiatives. Um, the other practical step, we're about to um, upgrade and renew our VLE, um, so we'll look certainly in terms of um, having learning analytics suite integrated if possible um, with a view to providing a more streamlined digital footprint. Um, I think like many others, um, you know, the first perhaps obvious locus of um, learning analytics maybe in, in relation to supporting retention, but I think we would hold the view that um, retention um, is a big strategic commitment um, on the part of, the in, of an institution. I think it's notable as well that Vincent Tento, who's written so extensively about retention, offering many strategies, many studies, and his last uh, pronouncement on the topic was really to say institutions need a wholesale commitment and coherent holistic strategy to supporting student success. Um, so I hope that learning analytics might be a catalyst to take us in that direction. So thanks a million.